Today in our class, we're gonna be making some amazing castles. Some of us will be making collages and others will make drawings. Kids at home were even invited to use blocks. This project will also talk about different kinds of shapes and two different artists who make castles, Paul Clay and Mary Blair. So let's get into it. If you were in my first grade class last year, we talked about Paul Clay. He made lots of paintings with simple shapes. This is one of his most famous paintings called Castle and Sun. What shapes do you see in this picture? Did you say triangles, squares, rectangles, and even a circle? These are called geometric shapes. They're the kind of shapes that you might see in math class. Now here's another artist famous for her buildings with a different style. Her name is Mary Blair and she was an artist for Disney. Mary created concept art for some of the most famous Disney films like Peter Pan, Cinderella, and Alice in Wonderland. She basically created the look and the ideas for those movies. And she designed the It's a Small World ride. Here are some more close-ups of the ride. Look at all the shapes and tiny details. Her castles have geometric shapes and organic shapes, which are things like splats and blobs and domes and curvy shapes with no names. So pretty. So now I'm going to walk you through how to make a collage in the style of Paul Clay with lots of geometric shapes or in the style of Mary Blair, which also has a lot of organic shapes. If you want to make a collage, pause the video and go get yourself some paper, a scissors, and glue. If you want to make a drawing, pause the video and go get a pencil and some crayons, markers. I'm even going to use some paint on my example down below. All right, so now I'm going to start by cutting some blocks for my castle. I'm going to make rectangles and squares and to make it a little faster i'm putting a couple pieces of paper on top of each other make yourself a nice little pile of shapes if you're doing a drawing find something with a straight edge to trace it could be a ruler or the edge of a notebook or a piece of cardboard or something like that line the edge up with your paper and you can make your lines i'm going to draw a tower on both sides so that it's a little bit symmetrical right which means the same on both sides and then a big shape in the middle. You can make your building however you want it to be. Back to our collage. I recommend putting glue on your paper and then just start building your castle just like you would build with blocks or Legos. With both of these castles, it's all about the details. So I'm gonna start dividing my sections of the castle into bits. I can use my ruler, or just freehand it. And my lines aren't perfectly straight, but that's okay, I'm doing my best. Now, Mary Blair would add designs right on pretty much every single bit of her building. Notice there are these curvy lines that she uses to make roofs. She adds lots of triangles to the tops of her buildings and she adds designs inside the squares. Now your castle can kind of have a theme. It could be a kitty castle, it could be a sports castle, or it could just have designs. I noticed lots of X's and diamonds in her work, so I'm kind of borrowing her ideas. She also has a lot of just, again, organic shapes. Shapes with no names really, like flowery shapes and cloverish shapes. So I'm repeating them over and over again and filling up my castle with interesting designs. Back to my collage. I'm gonna cut some squares in half to make triangles. And then you can use both sides of the triangles to create patterns. Try cutting smaller squares and putting them inside bigger ones for windows. And you can make teeny tiny little bits for the tops of your castle. Warning, you will get sticky. You can also cut curvy shapes for doors and windows and make sure to use the outsides of the shapes you cut. That's called the negative space. See, I get two shapes for the price of one. Pretty nifty. 
You can keep adding shapes forever, or if you get sick of it, grab a drawing tool and draw more details on top. I want you to have fun with this, so feel free to add people, monsters, anything that makes you smile. As for our drawing, you can color it or use paint to fill in all the spaces you made. Here's a Mary Blair style castle I made with lots of details. I traced the edges in Sharpie, I tried the marker and water technique, and then I ended up using a watercolor paint to fill in all the little sections. Use whatever tools you've got. 